hello friend this is Sopni and welcome to learn SAP app app so in this session we are going to see how to change the field label on screen at a runtime in module tool or dialog programming in SAP app app okay so in model programming we cannot change the field label on a screen dynamically uh, because we all know the screen label act as a constant and its value cannot be changed at a runtime okay so in this session i will show you the trick to change the such as label uh, text at a runtime okay so here what we are going to do uh, so uh, we are going to add a three parameter on a screen and based on a field value we are going to change the screen label of a respective fields okay if the field value is a blank then we are going to display field label as a short text or if the field value is not blank then we are going to change the screen label as a full text okay so stay tuned till the end and keep watching learn sap ABAP. so i am in my ABAP editor so what we are going to do uh, we are going to create to an employee ID field and the selection screen and we will design one screen in which we are going to display the parameter as employee ID first name last name okay employee ID first name last name details are blank then we are going to display the field label is the screen label as a short text and if it is a field then we are going to display field label as a full text okay so let's send in the selection screen action screen begin of block v1 then selection screen end of block v1 okay and here we are going to pass the parameter as a ready type captain okay so activate okay now we will use a one start of selection okay and here we are going to call the screen as a hundred now we will design the screen hundred okay okay so uh, as we have to fetch the data from these employee table so we need to declare work area over here amp type gmp data okay and here we need a three more variable for the employee ID, employee ID, first name and last name which we are going to change at the runtime okay so EMP ID where type so let me give as a 20 then first name variable type can have 20 then last name where type can have 20 okay why we need this three variable because we are going to change the screen label of this employee first name and last name okay so check and activate okay so now we will design our screen 100 double click on the screen 100 click on yes we will use screen 100 okay then click on the layout okay so now we will design the screen 100 we will put the box here okay so now we need labels for the employee ID, first name and last name so okay so in the regular practice we are using the text label okay but now we have to change the label at the runtime so we have to use the input field okay so this there is a trick okay so we will use a uh, text field let's see this is the text field okay input field text okay and we will define a three input field okay you can define here otherwise you can directly get from here also okay click on dictionary program field get from program so as you can see here here we have we have used this two field if we have used this two field employee ID where and first name so we need this last field so click on click on okay 
and just drag and drop here and as you can see here last fair name has already come from this field selection so now we have to assign then here also the new this variable is field is by id where and for this we have a first where okay so now we need this this three are the label this three are the label okay so we just need to set the property as a output only select for the second also output only and same for the third also output only okay okay so, okay so now we need a text field so now we need a uh, input output for in order to display the value of this particular employee first and last name just click on this dictionary program and select the first name and last name click and drag and drop here you select adjust as per the requirement okay and we will display it also output only we are going to display the only value so we don't need an input as of now okay now check and activate okay so now we have done with our screen designing okay 100 so you can act check and activate and click on close okay so now we have designed our so just click on the flow logic okay so now we need to just implement the model status okay and the model user model status and model user command just uncomment it here also uncomment it and we will define one include in order to write the code for this particular model So as you can we will write include test label form okay double can activate screen hundred okay so now we have to just uh, we have to just implement this model just double click on this model and click on the okay and Click on the yes. Here we will define as a set P of status. Set P of status label. Okay. So and double click on the set P of label. Yes. And the yes. Label. Normal screen and okay and here we need to imp one as a okay so here we need line as a bank Select. okay and give the name there as a bank bsk bank as you can see here the function code has already defined as a bank okay and assign any assign any function key and here we will cancel okay cancel cancel the bank now we have just uh, we have just designed the pay of status okay so now set model level okay so we'll go to the first hour program or we will write this some extraction logic okay here just right here we'll write the logic in start of selection select single star from CMP data into LS into LS EMP where P EMP is equal here EMP ID equal to PMP and if size is not initial so then we are simply clearing this work area check and activate here we have written the logic for data extraction now we can go to the on screen 100
go to the model status okay and here we are going to write the logic for okay here we are going to write the logic in order to change the field screen field label at the runtime okay so if nsemp nsemp okay cmp id okay so let me say Employee is unknown, white is unknown. We have already defined. Let's check. Okay, we are writing the code inside this include. Okay, so just cut paste below the data declaration. Now it should activate. Okay, let's go over here. If employee ID is initial and ls emp if name is initial and ls emp last name is initial then what we are going to do if employee ID is initial and employee first name and employee last name is initial so in that case uh, we just need to we just need to fill we just need to change the field label as a short text okay so we we'll use the variable here employ id variable is equal to we'll assign as a emp id as you can see this i'm giving the short name here okay same for the first name variable also first variable equal to F name, F name, and for the last one also, last variable is equal to L name, last name. Okay, and we are going to do the else part. If all, you see, if 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 all the, if the employee id and first name and the last name are not initial so in that case what we are going to write we will just write the label even as a full text okay employee id then then here first name first name and here we will give as a last name <coughs> and we will give as a last name okay so just check and activate so not so now what we are going to do here if the employee id first name and the last name is a initial is a initial it means it's a blank then we are uh, changing the screen label as a short text okay employee ID first name last name and if it is a field means we have some value in the first name last name and employee name, then we are displaying the field as a employee id first name and last name which is nothing but the full full text okay so check and activate okay uh, now go to the screen 100 again we need to design this model user command as well just double click on it and click on the yes okay so here we need to write the logic for the after input command so here we'll write as a case in case case that's why you come okay then when back or cancel leave to zero okay it will go back just check and activate okay so now we have done with our coding part okay so our main coding part is in this model status output okay which is nothing but we have 
here this is the main model in which we have to write the logic in order to change the field label uh, or you can say the screen label uh, uh, at the runtime okay so this is the main logic and this is nothing but the variable which we had assigned to the text field of this screen okay so let's go to the c38 and we'll check our output if it is as per our expectation c38 so this is our program we'll check I will put as employee ID as a triple one and will execute. Okay, so as you can see here, employee ID is a triple employee ID first name, last name because this all are the complete full text. Okay, because we have some data in this function. Okay, so now we will uh, we'll go back and we'll just simply. Uh, we are not going to enter anything in employee ID. We just execute. Okay. So as you can see, uh, the full text label text has changed from from, uh, from full text to short text, which is employee ID F name last name. Again, I'm going back and we enter triple zero. Click yes. As you can see, employee ID first name last name. Again, I'm going back. Cancel it. Execute as you can see, employee ID first name, last name. Okay, so this is the way you can change the screen label at a runtime in module build programming. Okay, if you like this video, then press the like button below. If you have any doubt, then write me in a comment section below. If you want to learn more about a app, then visit to my website www.tennisapp.com. The link is also given in the description and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification about my next upcoming videos okay so friends bye signing out